Hello, everybody! Anime Reflux! Yay! I started Yay. putting episodes out. There's episodes coming out now. Yay! That's a thing. People get to hear me lose my shit over Evangelion. Or they did a few days ago, probably, is how this works. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah! Xing Chen Bian. Stellar transformations. Okay. I mean, uh, I'll be honest, the Chinese title is probably more interesting than anything in the show. So That's probably not fair. Actually, sorry. Sorry, I keep interrupting you right when you're about to say something. That's my bad. This show uh, is 3D animated. It is um, Chinese, and it is uh, what I would call a mobile game ad in in, in terms of appearance. Yeah, this... like very high quality special effects, but like when you look at the faces, it's so uncanny valley. It's the kind of Chinese uh, CG animation that you see in every Chinese CG animation. Yes. They, for some reason, always look like this. I did speculate that they're all by the same company, which, you know, Tencent, that's a thing, but that's also, like, 20% of the Chinese economy, so that's not exactly saying much. It's like saying all Amazon shows look the same. Uh, yeah, okay, no. So. Um, so, this is a show about we're probably gonna have to explain what the show is about in broad strokes but this is about cultivation which is a predominantly chinese um style of show that is all about it's kind of the dragon ball key stuff and you know the naruto chakra stuff all of that sort of thing just mastering your own body to the point that you become a god like a literal god not like accidentally getting there by getting so strong and badass but the objective is to reach harmony with your body and your soul Be to yeah, the point become that immortal. you become immortal so not quite so much a I need to get stronger thing as I need to reach peace and harmony for a sort of more religious connotation than a martial arts one so yeah, that's broadly what this show is about. There is a dad, he is like a king or an emperor or something, and he has three children. Two of them are cool and badass. Then there is the third that will, for reasons that we probably won't get into because we don't fucking understand them in the slightest, is not able to do the kind of cultivation that his siblings and daddy can. And so, because he can't be as good as, there, as his brothers or his dad, his dad sends him this faraway palace in isolation so that nobody can hurt him. Yeah. There's a whole metaphor thing of, like, a, a tree that can't grow strong then protect it in a walled garden or something like that. Cool. Chinese metaphors. Already, down with that. Chinese terms of mythology that I do not understand, and they have translator's notes in the top left corner of the screen for me to not be able to read because I'm also trying to read the subtitles that are moving very fast. That's not so great and makes this show kind of impenetrable. Yeah. There's, um... I will say the... The kid himself, he's he's kind of a, a weirdo. Like, most of the time he's laughing and doing this very annoying sort of similar sounding giggle. Uh, I'm not really sure what the direction was for that, but he, it's like, oh, I'm a kid, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. And it's like... Uh, he's been isolated for about 10 years. 
years old. No, not like a couple of years actually. Now I think he's still a kid. What am I thinking yeah. of? Yeah, he's been isolated for a couple of years, and that's probably not done great things for him socially. I did like the bit where he got to go out and he made friends with the kind of the local villager people, mm. the brother and the sister. Yeah. And um, was able to kind of form that bond. And, and he felt more like an established character at that point. Uh, and uh, essentially, this episode is about setting up this kid can't do what he, whatever he else can. And by the end of the episode, he finds his determination to, you know what? I'm going to go do it. I'm going to get better. This, of For course. whatever kind of better means. This, which... of course, is not really. Uh... <laughs> when you look at the summary, it's like, oh, come on. Because the summary is. Um this mysterious crystal stone fuses with his body unnoticed and he makes him go undergo drastic transformations. Um, we don't see any of that here. Any meteoric crystal stone. Yeah. This is just setting up him meeting the kids, him getting dropped off by his dad, his dad never showing up again and his brother showing up to visit and they have a, Splash fight in the hot spring. That and water looks pretty bad. It, yeah. I'd, I, I have a sneaking suspicion it wasn't the water they were focusing on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot, lot more attention was focused on chiseled, sculpted abs in that scene. His brother's like 20. He's still like 10. He gets freaking flung against a, a boulder. Yeah. So, yeah. And then his brothers leave, and that's pretty much the episode of him just like, yeah, I'm gonna be the whole king of the pirates strongest in the world. Substitute Soul Reaper. I, I, sh I shouldn't be quite that dismissive because it is a different thing. It's coming from a different place. It, it's it's not the same, but it's so impenetrable because of all the terms that we're probably expected to understand and just fucking don't. Like, it's a, it's a similar thing to, like, hey, you first watched anime and you have to learn a few terms that you're just not familiar with like you you really need to know what sakura trees mean because that's a really important thing shinigami uh, kami in general that's the thing too you have to learn a little bit at least of like how shinto as a faith works but that's about it and this seems to be more diving into the deep end of that kind of cultural overtone that we just don't have. <clears throat> this is not a show I would want to see more of. It just doesn't appeal to me, and I think that the faces just look off. Hmm. Um, wasn't a big fan of... Like, there, there's some things that are cool, like the uncle with the, <laughs> the freaking huge tiger. I'm like, oh, that's that's pretty neat but yeah. uh it's i've never been a fan of the whole wuxia cultivation genre stuff mm. and that's because they get into so many um terms and things that are very exclusive to chinese culture and you have to kind of take a, a college class to understand yeah. a lot of what everything means and what the significance behind it is and it's just i don't have the time for that yeah there are people that are into that kind of thing in western audiences but it's like comparing anime audiences to big blockbuster movies in terms of size there's 
there's very few people that would be into a show like this and those people that would be into a show like this have probably already watched it because there's just not that much that caters like in mm. literature plenty in anime not so much Yeah. Yeah. So patient, I know you didn't watch it, but do you have anything that you'd like to say? <laughs> Just for the fun of it. Patient's busy. Okay. Uh I will pull up the thing then. I rolled uh by the way. Okay. Three. C. C. It's uh, 79. 79. All right. 79. That's it. Oh, right. So, That's... 76. Okay, you're doing. <laughs> 76. Is... Uh, what does green mean, patient? It means that it's Fairly anime. It's what? It's. It means we need to find a different site to watch it. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, let me search. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. Okay, that, uh... Alright, this site I'm familiar with, and it works, even though the ads are kind of... We could just not do this one, is also an option. <laughs> we lost that opportunity when you said, go ahead and add it to the list. I guess, but the only site I found it on is the one that I watched another thing on and it pops up like 50 ads every time you want to watch a thing uh, I can roll again uh, just for the sake of convenience um, yeah that's probably a good idea 59 can I just <sighs> forget it then What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? There it is. So I guess next time that I add something to the list that isn't on this site, I should first make sure that there's another site out there where we can watch it. You can watch it conveniently, yes. Yeah, if we could verify that beforehand, that would uh, definitely help. I'll just make this one for the list, then. Comet Lucifer. This looks like one of those. Okay. Oh, boy. Gift. A world covered in glittering blue crystals called... G Giftium? Really? Giftium. 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 Sogo Amagi is a boy who lives in the town of Garden Indigo, which has prospered from the mining of these crystals. Sogo, whose hobby is collecting rare crystals, one day becomes involved in a dispute between classmates Kaun, Roman, and Otto. He wanders deep into the ruins of a mine and discovers an underground lake. There, Sogo meets a mysterious girl with blue hair and red eyes. Of course he does. Who is this girl, and what will their meeting bring? Another generic fantasy anime that has a guy find a girl that's mysterious, and they go on adventures together. Um, an anime that doesn't have a manga that uh, came out in um, 2015, 12 episodes, and apparently is tagged with uh, being a mecha anime. 
So, yeah, it's one of those. Uh... Apparently it's a little depressing or something. All right, there sure. We... I'll take some depressing. Let's go. Uh, okay. Uh, da -da. This looks like it will be boring, but that's okay. I mean, it looks like it'll be generic. Just based on that description, to be honest. Uh... Also, the main character is wearing goggles, but he's wearing them off to the side of his head, so you know he's cool. Apparently has a shit ending, but we'll never see that, so that's fine. We have ascended. We only see the first episode, and then we leave. Okay, I don't know whether to be encouraged by this or not. This is quite refreshing to watch. I was tired of all those otherworldly fantasy anime that all looked alike. Well, I don't know. <laughs> we'll we'll, we'll find out. This didn't get a season two, so uh, that should tell you a lot. It's either complete and perfect or bad. <laughs> yeah, okay. Complete and perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright, so that's what we'll do next week is Comet Lucifer. Oh, God, they called it Comet Lucifer. Why, why do they always just invoke random fantasy shit? Whatever. So that's what we're watching next week. Bye, everybody. Comet Yggdrasil. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. That's a sequel. <laughs>